In this video, we are going to create a hitbox animation. The goal is that our player should have accurate hit detection when it swings the sword. To get started, we need to create a sprite to act as a visual reference. I'm going to stop Unity, select our sprite here, and I'm going to add a visual reference by going to 2D Object Sprite. From here, let's go ahead and name this Hitbox. Once we have that named Hitbox, we want to make sure that we actually can see this object in our scene view. So I'm going to place the order and layer to 50, which is the same layer as my player. From here, let's go ahead and give it a default sprite. If we scroll to the bottom, we can add a UI sprite. From here, we can go ahead and position it out from our player. Now what we need to do here is we're going to animate this object with our player's swing. So before we get started, let's make sure we add a box collider 2D. Now that we have that mapped, we can open up our animation view and let's hop into our attack animation. We can play the animation and you can see here that we have a sword swing. The goal here is that we need to map our hitbox to each frame. So if we go ahead and look at the first frame, you can see here our sword is all the way extended and we're basically going to create individual keyframes and resize the position and collider to follow through with the swing. So let's go ahead and get into record mode and let's modify the first position. The first position is going to align with our sword. So let's go ahead and zoom in here so that we can see. We'll go ahead and edit the collider and make it the length of the sword. From here, we can rotate the object on the Z to get it aligned properly. Once we have our first frame, we'll then continue on to our second frame. So here, we can go ahead and rotate along the Z, and if we need to extend the box collider, we can. And we're going to do this for each frame. This is going to allow us to have a very accurate hit detection. Once you have enough frames to follow through with the animation, we can get out of record mode and if we play it back, you'll see here that we have a sword swing where our hitbox collider is now following through with the swing and we can now detect accurate hit detections with our sword. So in the next section, we'll go ahead and actually set up hit colliders for other objects so that we can actually destroy things. If you're interested in learning more about 2D game development, tile map, Unity ads, publishing to the Google Play Store, and getting more involved in making games with Unity, you should definitely check out The Ultimate Guide to 2D Mobile Game Development with Unity, a course created in partnership with Unity Technologies on Udemy. Check out the description to access a special discount to this course. I'll see you inside.